Well, tension continues to simmer in West Bengal, Sandesh Khali. Dramatic protests have been uh, seen by Bengal BJP leaders today and we are learning West Bengal BJP Chief Sukanda Majumdar was also injured as the party workers clashed with police personnel after they were stopped from entering Sandesh Khali. Well, uh, remember, uh, Sandesh Khali has been tense uh, from uh, a few days now. Women have been agitating over alleged atrocities against them by TMC leader Shah Jahan Sheikh and his aides. Local women have alleged that they have been harassed, they have been raped by TMC men. Now what we are learning is that Sukanta Majumdar today said that the cops were trying to house arrest me and that police attacked me. He said he was trying to visit Sandesh Khali but wasn't allowed to do so. However, on the other hand, the TMC is saying that the BJP has been trying to give a communal colour to the incident. Those are the visuals on your TV screens of uh, Sukanta Majumdar. Uh, when uh, he was taken to the hospital, we are learning that he's been taken to Kolkata now. He suffered some serious injuries when the clashes took place between the police and uh, the BJP workers. Let's also listen in to reactions coming in. I don't want to help them. They are scared. They don't help them. इस सरकार के ऊपर कोई भरोसा नहीं है हम नहीं चाहते थे 144 रहे हम नहीं चाहते हैं ये लोग हमारा आंदोलन जो है चल रहा है जमीन नारी के ऊपर अत्याचार लेके जो आंदोलन हम लोग रास्ते पे उतर गए वो आंदोलन बंद करने के लिए ये 144 लगा रहे हैं लेकिन हम उसको मानेंगे नहीं all right, that was the reaction from one of the victims there. Uh, well, to talk more about the situation here in Bengal, Sandesh Khali, Dr. Santanu Sain of the TMC joins us on the broadcast. Uh, Ms. Saturupa of uh, the BJP party also joins us on the broadcast. Here. Thank you so much for joining us here on NDTV. Dr. Santanu Sain, if I could come to you first, uh, what is happening in Sandesh Khali? Uh, the BJP is saying there is no law and order. And uh, of course, Shah Jahan is nowhere to be found. He is absconding. A lot of women have come forward, alleged rape by TMC leaders, uh, by aides of uh, Sheikh Shah Jahan. What is the Mamta government doing? Whatever is going on in Shandaskali is absolutely a drama that is being directed by central BJP and that has been acted by the state BJP leaders. Are you saying the women who have made those allegations are lying? Number one, it has become... The local women like, who have come forward, are they you, lying, are you, you saying? You, if you don't allow me to complete, then how can I conclude? Please go ahead. First of all, today, first of all, today the Central Women Commission they visited and in several medias they have said that no such report was given, was made by any any lady of that particular Sandesh Kaliya area regarding sexual harassment or regarding sexual assault. The fact is, that particular area is left dominated and BJP hooligans. You have seen yesterday the way this Shukanta Majumdar, he was riding on a bike without having helmet along with the goons. The way they have done the stone, stone painting on the police officers, they have injured the police officers. They are trying to give a communal color. Even the central minister who came all the way from Delhi to give a communal color. But the real fact is something different. Law and order is police is taking its, its own course. But these BJP goes. Whenever there is any program under the banner of BJP, they are in a mood to take the law and order in their own hand. They are in a mood to create an unrest. This time once again. And not a single okay. media could show that there was any attack on Sukanta Mojumdar. It's absolutely a drama. It's absolutely a created and motivated and con con concocted story to ma malign the Bharat, uh, Trinoval Congress government. It has been proved once again by the statement given by the representative of Central Women Commission, who has said categorically that no such complaint was received from any woman of the Sandeskali during our visit. So, Dr. Santanu Sain, you're saying the State Women Commission also visited and said that there has been no such uh, uh, complaint. What about those women who've been protesting over, uh, you know, th the last few days and alleging on camera also they've been saying that they've been raped by the uh, TMC men, by Sheikh Shah Jahan's first men. All, what is that? First of all, no, 
no complaint of rape or sexual assault were lodged with the local police station not a single because, because, report was because not of a course, single report because of course shah jahan has been a strong man he is a strong man and, and everybody and, those women have been saying time, also in their testimonies that they were scared and, of him and, and that is why the they couldn't go to the police station but now when no, they're saying so not. why is no action being Shatiali taken not. where is shah jahan let me let Shatiali me go to the not. bjp also dr shantanu sen i'll come back to you one one second just give me a second Let me go to the BJP spokesperson also, Ms. Shatarupa. What do you have to say about what is happening in Sandesh Kali? The TMC here is saying, Dr. Santanu Sen is saying that it's all staged by the BJP. See, firstly, I have to thank Dr. Santanu Sen because in his uh, obnoxious comments, he keeps acknowledging the fact, uh, again, a figment of their imagination. that bjp is so strong everywhere that we keep creating issues like this and we keep creating mm. scenes like this so we obviously have to be strong in in our, in our base which at least most of the times they say that we don't even exist in west bengal no but then coming back to uh, shandesh khari uh, kitty you very correctly pointed out that there are 45 days have gone by there is absolutely no sign of sheikh shah jahan who as you know when ed went to uh, look for him and in a raid he's been absconding since then nobody knows where he is there are various theories on and off but whatever the theories may be it has taken 45 days for a state team to go and reach out to shandesh pali in the meantime shandesh pali in the absence of uh, shah jahan these women have been coming out with complaints of uh, sexual assault indecent comments uh, intent to uh, you know sexually malign them and various other issues you will absolutely appreciate kitty that the uh, rural women find it very difficult to bring up these accusations in the first place you know mm. they don't even feel like talking about it mm. and then there have been people have gone on record on media saying that even if they wanted to talk to police police refused to take fir so there is absolutely no question of any any written complaints anywhere which shantanu sen is constant, constantly say now as far as his comment today from yesterday i mean regarding uh, comment today regarding uh, uh, dr uh, shukanta mojumdar acting this i find is is extremely dismal and in very low taste which is typical of shantanu sen and the other uh, spokespersons of uh, trinamool dr shukanta mojumdar has been trying to go to shandesh khali because he has made a statement yesterday you know today saraswati puja in west bengal and all households all bengali households they take it very close to their heart and we are all educationists we we love education we we, we worship at home mm. so he was asked yesterday while he was trying to go to uh, shandesh khali that are you not going to go home he has two little daughters dr okay, shukant okay. mojumdar our honorable state president went on record saying that what will happen to the shoroshitis of shandesh khali who okay. he considers okay. them to be his daughters he is so moved since okay. yesterday he's been okay. talking okay. to dr santosh said that why okay Let if everything is all right if nothing is wrong in shandesh khali then why are you not just letting just sukanta majumdar to go the bjp team to go to shandesh khali what will happen if the bjp team goes there and speaks to uh, those local women in the area what will happen why why should we first of all the inter country knows that this bjp fellows they play this ramchandra this ramchandra as, as their political tool and today the inter people of bengal they have seen now they have started playing ma saraswati the our, our respected goddess as their political tool why should administration allow that political person or that political party who are having an intention to ignite fire who am having an intention to instigate yesterday the scenario was very clear shukanto mojumdar was riding on a bike without having any helmet being associated with other political goons and then stone pelting on the police personals injuring the police personals assaulting the police personals i can recall on 13 september 2022 in the name of navanno vijan the same thing they have done they have assaulted devdeep chatterjee the acp officer They, they have broken their legs in Kaliyagan yeah. under the leadership of the then Minister of BJP, Devasti Choudhury. The same type of incident took place in police station. So everywhere they are in a mood to create an unrest. Okay, so me, know, okay. In a peaceful situation, they cannot. This get is the absolutely. Okay, you are accusing the BJP of trying yeah. to ignite a political fire. What what does the BJP have to say, Mr. Shatrupa? 
No, by nature, BJP does not ignite fire. Whatever false narrative Dr. Shantanushan and the likes of him might want to say, that is not the point. They keep on, you know, the, the same police who have absolutely shown complete inaction as far as catching goons, hmm. forget Shah Jahan, even on, you know, the, the, uh, the uh, vid uh, video footage of those hundreds uh, were beginning a riot almost when, when the ED went on a raid. Even the, the, front, uh, the frontliners, the five or six people who we saw talking on camera, even they have not been arrested. So forget about Shah Jahan. Now the same police suddenly get very overactive. I mean, look at their action. They have they've confined our state president to a hotel, and then they're not even letting him come out of the hotel. I mean, what sort of what sort of logic does the uh, state uh, the, does the state administration think that they're trying to prove across India? BJP mm. is on record. We do not create uh, riots like this. We do not incite violence. We wanted to go and visit Shandesh Kali and West Bengal is very much a part of India. We have every right to visit everywhere. Whatever Dr. the Santu state Hussain, administration okay. might want to think. Okay, and Dr. Santu is saying, you know, the BJP Dr. is what the BJP Dr. is saying Kitty, is Kitty, valid. Kitty. Okay. Kitty, just let me finish. Okay, okay, the, go on. The court has gone on record saying, you know, just so that we don't go and visit, we, we can't go and visit uh, Shandesh Kali, uh, uh, police has randomly put in a 144 all over the place. So the court has gone on record saying, Are you have to identify some sensitive places. Now we are forbidden to go, but suddenly their state team reaches within a whisk of a, they couldn't reach. 45 days, we didn't see them. Now suddenly not even 45 days. Okay, Dr. Santanu saying, Dr. Santanu saying what the BJP is saying is valid also because, you know, uh, of course, the law and order situation in the area is out of hand. You are saying the BJP is responsible for it. But the mood question, of course, here is, and we've been asking it almost on a daily basis. Where is Shah Jahan? Why have the police not been able to catch him? It's been, of course, a lot more than 30 days, 45 days rather, Watch that he's been absconding. And these women yes, also, now we? you're saying, you're saying those who've come forward and made those allegations on camera, not just one or two, several women have come forward and made those allegations. Are you saying those are liars? I hope you will allow me to finish my answer. Please Number go on. one, I would like to I would like to remind my BJP colleague when the sexual harassment incidents of sexual harassment and rapes took place in Hatra Sunna Balarampur. Representative yes, no, of India Tunamul Congress we had, no. all the way they went from Calcutta and they were stopped even at the airport and they were arrested. Number one. Number two in Sandeshkali incident. Already the police is very much proactive. 14 people got arrested by now. And number three, so far the Sajan's issue is concerned. He is absconding. Police is investigating. But unfortunately, their leader, BJP leader, leader of opposition is saying that he knows where Sajan is. So if despite knowing the present location of Sajan, as because Suvendu Odhikari is not informing neither the police nor the ED, Police should okay, arrest. Okay, so you're Your saying, ED okay, the BJP arrest. is saying, no, maybe, BJP is saying that they know, the BJP leader is saying Sorry. he knows where Shah Jahan is, but the police doesn't know, the state doesn't know, and that is what the BJP is saying, that the TNC has been trying to shield him, that Mamta Banerjee has been if, trying if to BJP, shield him. If, okay, if, those... if, BJP, if BJP knows where Shah Jahan is, then BJP leaders should inform the police. Okay, and that's, that's, that's the, the onus is on them also. But first of all, yes. those are maybe, you know, the claims that are made by the BJP leaders, which if they know, of course, they should come forward with it, with the truth. But it's the job of the state police. It's the job of the government to ensure that Shah Jahan is brought to the books and he's, uh, you know, arrested. It's been so many days. He's still absconding. He's still on the run. And the state government has been able to do nothing about it. All right. Thank you so much. That much time I had uh, for now on uh, the debate today. Thank you so much, Dr. Santanu Sen and uh, Ms. Chaturupa also. My colleague uh, Saurabh Gupta is also now joining us on the broadcast, getting us more from the ground. Saurabh? Uh, what uh, the TMC here is saying that the State Women Commission also visited Sandesh Kali and uh, the TMC here is claiming, uh, well, uh, saying that the State Election Commission has said there have been uh, no such claims, no uh, complaints fired by, uh, well, filed, I beg your pardon, by those uh, women who've been alleging rape by TMC men. Well, you know, we uh, did speak to several women and uh, to be honest, we didn't find anyone who said that they had been raped or uh, even uh, 
we couldn't find someone like that but then again there may be some people who may not have come out that is not in the public yes. domain but we there went to Shandesh Kali today and what we understood from speaking to the women, women there was that uh, there were people who were called to the TMC office on the pretext of some meeting or on the pretext of some work at orders and this was something that uh, the BJP said had happened and also said that there was sexual harassment. Some women did use the word harassment when they spoke to us and they did say that there was sexual harassment and they said that women are coming out and speaking because they've been uh, feeling this for so long. But yes, if it comes to the specific law and the section of the law that deals with rape, which is section 376, then there has been no complaint filed at a police station or something. And that is probably uh, what the TMC uh, uh, or, 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 you know, or what is being said on record. Though we did speak to some women who said and complained about harassment. Hmm. But we must also clarify that we have not been able to find someone yet who has complained of rape. That is, uh, of course, uh, something that uh, we uh, we no, and we spoke TMC to a large, been, pretty yes. large group of women. The TMC is even Shkali denying that. The TMC say, is saying now, nothing of that sort other, has happened. Even sexual, even if you know, we've, of course, as you've been rightly pointing out, those women we have spoken to, our channel has spoken to, have been saying they've been sexually exploited, but harassed as well. But uh, the TMC is saying nothing of that sort has happened. Are those women lying? Well, the women we spoke to, the women we spoke to said that they were called to the TMC office, that they were asked to sit uh, sit there, and they claimed harassment. They mm. claimed harassment, and they claimed, uh, you know. Uh, okay. Yes, and you know, most of the women also but have been saying that they couldn't uh, muster the courage to speak but, out. But, but, they couldn't but, go to the police, and but, the complaints but the, the, the also fell is, on their The fact ears. remains. The fact. Re okay, please go on. No, the fact remains is that uh, the fact remains is that there, you know, we spoke to a lot of women who did complain about Sheikh Shah Jahan and his aides, and they say that you know women were targeted when they didn't comply with their demands. For example, one of the larger problems that seems to have come to light there is, uh, you know, a tussle over land. Now, uh, what we've been given to understand there is that a lot of saline water was pumped into agricultural fields when these people refused to give up their land for fish farming. And once saline water comes in, that land cannot be used for agriculture. So that's what we picked up. But we did uh, uh, find people who did tell us that uh, they were called to the TMC office at Odas and uh, this was something uh, that they knew about. Uh, All right. But obviously, you know, uh, coming to the specific section of uh, you know 376, none, uh, nobody uh, did mention anything like that to us. All right, like we'll, try and, we'll try and but get uh, more again, testimonies. Thank you so much, uh, Soro, for getting us all those details there.